Just like we were able to consider constant acceleration motion in translational motion, if we have constant angular acceleration, we can consider constant angular acceleration and get the same relationships just with our angular quantities. So instead of x equals x naught plus v bar t, we have theta is equal to theta naught plus omega bar t, and so forth for all of these relationships. Here, this is just a reminder of our kinematic relationships where x, taking the time derivative, gave us velocity. Now theta, when we take the time derivative, gives us rotational velocity, and so forth. With these, we can now consider similar situations that we considered with translational motion, now with rotational motion. I'll label these one, two, three, four, in case that helps think through which one we're going to use. And as before, when we solve problems using these, we're going to write down the things we know, the things we're trying to find, and then try and find one of these that relates the things we know to what we're trying to find in the easiest, most straightforward way. Let's consider an example. If we have a fisherman hooking a fish that swims away from the boat, pulling the fishing line from the reel, we have this situation here, and we want to know, after some stuff happens, what's the final angular velocity of the reel after two seconds? We'll start by writing down the things we know. We know we start from rest, so that's an initial velocity of zero. We know the radius is 4.5 centimeters. We know that the angular acceleration is 110 radians per second squared, and we know the time is two seconds. So let's write down all of those things. And then from part A, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find omega final, the final angular velocity. To do this, we'll note that we have constant angular acceleration. So we can use constant angular acceleration equations. How do we know constant? Well, we're given a single value for angular acceleration that lasts for those full two seconds, so we can use these values. We look at those equations and we try and find one that has omega final and as many of these things as it can have. We find one that says omega final is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. Plug in values of zero for omega naught, 110 radians per second squared for alpha, and two seconds for time and we get a final angular velocity of 220 radians per second. For part B, we want to find how many revolutions does the real make, or theta final. I'd recommend that you pause right now and see if you can find an equation that solves for theta final fairly easily in terms of things you already know. I'm assuming you're back after pausing, and this is the one I wrote down, plugging in the things we know, we can evaluate this and get a theta final of 220 radians. That's not revolutions though, that's radians. So to convert to revolutions, we need to use that one revolution is two pi radians. And then we can get our final answer in revolutions as requested of 35 revolutions. That's how many times it spins around during this process. One more thing, at this point we apply a break with an acceleration of negative 300 radians per second squared, how long does it take the reel to stop spinning? Now we'll have a new initial angular velocity, which is whatever it was spinning with at the end of this, that 220 radians per second squared. And we wanna know how long it takes to stop spinning, so our final velocity will be zero. We have from the problem statement alpha of negative 300 radians per second squared, which leaves us wondering what do we use to relate these? Again, I recommend that you look yourself and see if you can figure it out. I'm gonna tell you right now. This one will work. Omega final is equal to omega initial plus alpha t. This lets us do a little bit of algebra to solve for time in terms of the other quantities by subtracting omega naught from both sides and then dividing by alpha to get my time is equal to omega final minus omega initial divided by alpha. Plugging in numbers, we get 0.73 seconds is how long it takes that break to stop the reel from spinning. 